Uh, the R number going up in some parts of the United States. A lot of Canadians worried about that. In your opinion, how long should the border remain closed between Canada and the U.S.? Well, it's, uh, quite frankly, I think it should be closed for as long as it takes. And that really means as long as it takes until the United States starts to get their epidemic under control. We're doing you know, so much better here in Canada. And, and you know, obviously, it's not a competition. We want everybody to do well. But if we open up that border prematurely, we can really risk undoing all the hard work and all the sacrifice that we've taken to get to where we are. Uh, and uh, and that, that can be undone rather quickly if we start importing a lot of cases. We've heard of a very high-profile case from uh, this small outbreak in PEI that really resulted from someone crossing the border into uh, Nova Scotia, and then, and, then, uh, and then we saw these cases in PEI. It, it's, just a, it's just a reminder that it's, there's a lot of infection down in the United States, that this epidemic is far from over, and that we really have to be vigilant about, uh, about ourselves here in Canada and, and what we do here in Canada and about uh, what's, what's going on in the rest of the world. But, Doctor, knowing what we know and Canada's method of containment, is there, uh, are you concerned that we're going to see in the future another full-on lockdown, like what's happened in Melbourne, where they have completely shut down once again for six weeks? Yeah, absolutely. That is certainly a possibility. It certainly could happen here in Canada. And we all have our job to do, right? We know public health and the government has to really be able to facilitate diagnostic testing and be able to conduct early detection systems so that we can rapidly identify cases and respond to them. Schools, if they reopen, businesses have to really provide a safe environment for their employees and for customers. And as individual citizens, we have to practice physical distancing, wash our hands, and put a mask on indoors. If we all do our job, we'll be okay. If we let our guard down, we're going to have outbreaks. It's as simple as that. 